Well, hello everybody. After many requests over a few uh, months here, I have finally gotten a hold of a Bison made wallet. Bison's a wallet maker. It's, they're a leather crafter out of Phoenix, Arizona, and they really do some very nice looking work. Um, this wallet is a number four wallet in whiskey, and it's a Chromexel wallet. Now, you know, I really love a Chromexel. Now, this is a really, really soft Chromexel, too. Let's take a look here. It comes in this uh, gift box, I would call it. Very nicely done. Opens in a book fashion here. Comes in a piece of felt, which it should. It's just such a nice Chromexel. So, this is the number four Bison Made wallet in whiskey. Um, I would assume, I'm going to show you this in a second. I'm going to make some assumptions here. I could be wrong, and if, if, I, if I am wrong, I'm sure I'll uh, hear about it. Hand-stitched, and I would say laser-cut, and I'll show you why in just a second. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all, because it keeps everything nice and symmetrical. And as you can see, it's a very interesting layout on this wallet. I mean, these cuts are just very, very nice. And if it wasn't laser-cut, if there was just a bit of a cut-off somewhere, it would just, you know, it wouldn't look as good as it does. Um, Stitching, hand-stitched. Going to have a little focus problem here, are we? Okay, that's how it's going to be today. Hand-stitched. There we go. Man, sometimes I could just... Stitching right here. Stitching there. Now, there's a cash pocket here. Stitching on the inside, of course. It's got a bison logo on the inside, if you can see that. There you go. Bison, made in the USA. Such a classy looking wallet. Um, it's a very intricate thing too, because down inside, now, it's so intricate that I have to take out my pointer here and I have to, uh, I have to trace the uh, route of the leather. As you get into the inside of the wallet, okay, there's a, there's a part in here where the leather turns. And I'm going to show that to you. See, I have to have my, my surgical light, and I have to have my, my pointer here to really point this out. See right down inside of there? This leather here, solid right there. This is going to take a while because I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys all of this. So, uh, you know, you have to suck it up and bear with me. Solid leather right there. Then it turns on itself down inside of here. Okay? And then the turned on part becomes this, this flap here. So it's really, really intricately cut. Now, if you trace this around, there's one, two, and I want to say three different levels because it's three different pieces of leather. But, you know, this piece right around on the outside here, this piece across there, this piece right here is actually this piece from in here so it's it's just man you know people that can figure out how to do this stuff amazing so this leather if you look on the back okay the leather on the back of this pocket is the same as this leather here so it's turned on itself down inside the wallet um very well done very well done the bison logo right here now it's got an interesting twist to it, and one that I couldn't figure out until uh, I sent an email and said, hey, uh, what's going on here? I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to put uh, five bills in it, five bills, six bills, something like that, and five cards. Okay, now let's start with the um, cards. All right, now I'm going to do this a special way, because I've done this a few times now just to see how it would work. You know, first I'm going to do it the regular way that the normal human would do it. Forgot to mention this right here. Lifetime warranty. Stitched with high strength UV and abrasion resistant polyester thread. Hand stitched by the person's initials that hand stitched it. Very cool. Very cool. If you, you know, this, it's really, it's really an excellent smelling Chromexel. Um, not as strong as some, but... It is a Chromexel, and it's just it's just so it's so soft. So I would think after a couple of weeks of carrying this around that it's just going to form right down. So let's put some cards and some cash in it. Okay, now I'm doing this. The normal humans 
I'll probably do it a different way. And I'm going to do it the unnormal way in just a second. This is the normal human way. Okay, two. And two more. Okay, well, three more. I have actually got my load of cards down to four now. But I'm going to put five in there for, uh, you know, you guys just want to really blow it out big. You know, Saturday night, not much to do. You might put a fifth card in that wallet. You never know. Stand back. Okay, let me put it in that. Let me put in one more card. So now we've got five cards in it. Okay, now, here's what I discovered today. I take the cash, all right? I'm telling you, this is going to take a while, so get your popcorn and uh, settle in. I take the cash, okay, and I go, whoop, 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 and I go to put it in, and I go, I go, hey, what's going on here? I'm trying to get the cash in. So then, I kind of go like this, you know, and I, I slide it in, and I go, yeah, there we go, cash is in. Then I close it, and that's what happens, okay? And that's what happens. Now, no matter what I did, I, I couldn't get the cash in. And if you see the way the cash sets, and there's a reason for this, okay? I'm just not, I'm just not saying this stuff to say it. There's a reason for this, and it's it's actually it's actually a pretty uh, cool design element. See, the cash is noticeably bigger than the wallet, okay? Noticeably bigger than the cash pocket. Now, I had to send an email to the company and go, hey, uh, do you possibly make, you know? wallets that fit smaller currencies because you know i don't know if i'm doing something wrong or not but i, I just cannot get the uh, cash in the wallet and here's what it turns out they have designed this to be very small okay now what that means is the cash is going to be held like this the cash is folded once all right you take the cash and you do like this right like that okay you fold it once and you slide it down inside now that means you have two sides available for cash now at first i was a bit taken aback i must say but then i started to think about it and i said wow that is really that is really a good way to do it actually i mean what is the reason that you have to have cash going lengthwise in the wallet because how many wallets do i have where the cash you have to fold it once, if not three times, if not quartering the cash. So once I got over my initial, um, um, my initial unjubilation of the whole thing, I, I liked it. I liked the way it was done. And I could see the sense in the design because it does make the overall wallet just a bit smaller. Like I said, you put, you put a, you put a fold of cash there, you put fold of cash here. Now, this is a pretty controversial thing right here. And I bet there's a few commenters that aren't going to like this at all. And that's, you know, certainly one of those to each his own things. Like I say a lot of times on all these walls, everything is a to each his own deal. But I like this. And once, once I figured out that, once I figured out, once they told me that this was the deal, because, you know, it could have been a while that I was trying to stuff the cash in the other way. In fact, it was a while I was trying to stuff the cash in the other way. But once I found this out, I went, well, that is pretty cool. So that's how the cash is held. Um, and it's not going to be held any other way unless you take, you know, a pair of scissors and trim the $1 bills down. And I don't think anybody's going to do that. Now, my only other concern was the card stacking like that. So this is the way the normal people might do it. Me, I would take the cards and do this. I would take that one out of there. Well, number one, I only have four cards, so... We're going to get rid of one of those right away. So what I would do, I would take the cards and I would put one there. And I would put one on the bottom. And I would put one up here. So that's my four cards. All right. Now we're going to try this a couple of different ways. Now let's see if that profile is any different. I think the profile is a bit different. Now we're still stacking. We're still stacking on this, on this top stack right here. And as with a number of wallets, when the cards are fanned out like this, this top stack is what creates all the thickness. So let's take these two and put them under here. There. Now, I think that's a little bit better. Um, some people have said, why don't you get a cheap pair of calipers and do it? 
I'm thinking, wow, you know, I, I really, I'm, I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I need to know that much how thick it is or it isn't because it's really just a perception thing in my eyes. And I think that two here and two here are a pretty good deal. And also, once this is in your pocket for a while, because this stuff is soft, I mean, it's really, it's very soft chromexyl and it's very thin chromexyl too, but it is a number of layers. So you are going to, you know, it's going to be a little thicker than normal. Let's do one more thing. The only other thing I would do is put all four cards right here. Okay, now this leaves a lot of space for other stuff, like little scraps of paper that you might have, you know, notes you don't want the little woman to see, that kind of thing. You know, it's, uh, there's, there's, there's areas for all of your, uh, discrete items, shall we say. So that holds it in just one stack right there. And that's acceptable too. But I think just for, just for the sake of uniformity, and because this wallet is cut so precisely and has taken so much engineering to make it into what it is, put, put two there and two there, you know. So Bison number four wallet in whiskey, beautifully done on the inside. I mean, isn't this, isn't this gorgeous the way this is just cut and angled here? And it just, it, it's so perfectly cut. That's why I say something like this is complicated, can be laser cut, and it's just fine. Because it's hand stitched. It's just, I can see why everybody wanted a closer look at a bison made wallet. Because it's something that, you know, you're going to have to check one out for yourself. Because while I can show it to you here, you can't smell it and you can't feel this leather but it's uh, quite a nice piece of workmanship. Anyway, that is it for today. Um, this is going to generate some controversy right here. And, you know, I can say that once, once I found out what it was about, it made sense to me, and I like it a lot. So, uh, once again, to, to each his own thing, um, I'll put their uh, link down in the description box. Bison made, number four. All right, I'm out.